When we think about the climate crisis, there are a few startling images that come to mind. Stranded polar bears, wildfires, those images stick with us because they're the most visible effects of climate change. But recently, the internet has been buzzing about a consequence that, while we can't really see it, is just as alarming. Zombie viruses. Bacteria and viruses preserved for centuries in glaciers, coming back to life as the Arctic's permafrost starts to thaw. Take a look at this video that I found on TikTok. I'm starting a series called Not So Fun Facts, where I scare people into caring about the climate crisis. Not so fun fact number one. Our ice caps are melting, but who cares about that? Well, in these ice caps are viruses and bacteria that have been tucked away, frozen for thousands of years. As these ice caps melt away, we will slowly be getting exposed. Scientists have taken these viruses and placed them in living cells to see if they're still active, and they <laughs> are active. The only thing we know for sure is pox viruses and anthrax will be apparent, and the rest scientists consider Pandora's box. With the fear and anxiety triggered by COVID-19, imagining a whole Pandora's box of diseases sounds like something out of a horror film. But will the continued melting of ice caps due to human-caused climate change really release long dormant bacteria and viruses that'll infect us all? Time to find out, is this legit? Hello friends, it's Rani. If you follow us, welcome back. If you're new here, we debunk viral misinformation online while sprinkling in some media literacy tips along the way that you can use yourself. This TikTok video about the climate crisis went viral, hitting 1.4 million likes and was seen 6.3 million times. The account is called Cien Goes Green, and this TikTok is part of an ongoing series that the creator Sienna calls Not So Fun Facts mainly about the climate crisis. And she's not the only one worried about this. From news coverage about zombie viruses back in 2016 to more recent Reddit posts and reels about melting ice caps, using fear to inspire action is nothing new. But as a general media literacy tip, when you see a post that evokes this much emotion, you want to fact check it. Mainly because the best, most convincing misinformation out there plays on our emotions. And when we feel things like shock or outrage, that could be a sign that what you're reading is missing some important context. On the other hand, you also want to fact check things that you agree with that are making you emotional. When we see things that fall in line with our morals or make us feel validated, we usually forget to fact check it. Back to the claim. The video says that in these ice caps are viruses and bacteria that have been tucked away, frozen, for thousands of years. To check if that were true, I did a keyword search using words like melting, ice caps, ancient viruses, and permafrost, and found this article from Smithsonian Magazine. They reported that according to experts, man-made climate change is causing glaciers around the world to shrink and release microbes as well as viruses that have been trapped for up to hundreds of thousands of years. According to the article, in 2015, scientists from the US and China drilled into a glacier and found evidence of ancient viruses. And 28 of these viruses were new to science. And according to this article I found from National Geographic, in 2014, Another study found that a 30,000-year-old giant virus from permafrost was still able to infect its target. The thought of a 30,000-year-old virus still being active was wild to me. So, using a media literacy skill called reading upstream, which is basically when you click on the studies or the reports hyperlinked in an article to read them for yourself, I went directly to their study to check it out. And according to the research article published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, a team discovered a new giant virus that they named Pithovirus Sibiricum. But here's the thing. This giant virus is only able to attack amoebas, which are single-celled organisms. So not animals or humans. Again, amoeba viruses, not human viruses. Now, the TikTok also named two specific diseases that are a cause for concern, anthrax and the pox virus, also known as smallpox. Refining my keyword search a little to include those terms, I came across this article from NPR. They reported that back in 2016, melting permafrost in northern Siberia thawed a decades-old deer carcass, 
that was infected with anthrax. This is thought to have caused an outbreak that hospitalized 96 people and killed 2,000 reindeer. The article also states that there's probably smallpox and the bubonic plague also buried in Siberia. But can those human viruses even stay active once they thaw? And should we even be freaking out right now? Well, this is where context comes into play. Pretty much every single one of the articles that I mentioned also stated that this discovery is unlikely to cause humans harm. NPR wrote that the studies that I mentioned, again, focused on amoeba viruses, not human viruses. And it's important to remember that these viruses have also evolved to live in frozen underground soil, not warm humans. Michael Zimmerman, a paleopathologist at the University of Pennsylvania, also told NPR that we're dealing with organisms that have been frozen for hundreds of years, so I don't think they would come back to life. And then added that a resurgence of viruses like smallpox would be extremely unlikely. But before we get to our rating, let's recap. Scientists have found that within melting permafrost, there are ancient viruses and bacteria, some previously unknown to science. However, most of these viruses can only infect amoebas, and while there might be some frozen viruses preserved in permafrost out there that could once infect humans, experts agree that it's very unlikely for those types of viruses to come back to life. So we are going to give this TikTok a mostly legit rating. The TikTok is accurate. There are frozen viruses out there. But experts say that we don't need to panic just yet. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you'd see anything that you'd like MediaWise to fact check, let us know with hashtag IsThisLegit. If you'd like to see more debunks of viral misinformation, make sure to click that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. Don't compromise, be media wise.